so guys in today's video we are going to take a look at first flight v6 so this is actually the one of the last versions of this uh, rom and this is completely themed uh, not like every previous uh, kind of things of the mod but now it's totally themed as you can see everything is very smooth because of that because every other element has been redesigned so as you can see you do get some apps from the note 7 actual ones like the video player these are the actual apps from the note 7 the music player as you can see you don't get the older blue background like the s7 now it's a like more denser app with a grey background which is good also the phone and everything is just uh, minutely neatly done also the clock app it's more much more refined it's still not from the original marshmallow but it looks quite good so i will not complain in that part as you can see i can just swipe through the menus totally quick and if you take a look at this edge bar the background is not like the darker one in the previous one because actually if you have not seen a note 5 or s6 or any other device uh, of samsung which has this blur it's um, like 100 percent identical to this one like just like a slight of a fade with blur and uh, no darkness just plain no lag at all if you go here the quick toggles are actual from the note 7 but if you enable the quick connect it's still uh, like fixed in the korean or i don't know what language is that so i've disabled that and it gives a minute feel of note 7 but uh, it would be nice if you have the option to remove this brightness slider you can of course do it with the mod if you go to the about device some um, things have been added over here the rom developer released in october rom version rom name build number but there is no security patch so i don't know software update 6.0.1 he just like basically put a marshmallow flat logo over here but it still looks cool if you're not into that much yeah, like geeky you don't even notice that it's lollipop it's very like note 7 themed and marshmallowy there are minor hiccups but that is because this processor is very slow from the 2013 but it's still very quick and uh, every time i make a review about this rom you guys ask me about the battery backup why don't you just test the rom for two to three days so i did that i have not tested like the ideal like performance but i have kept the device like that on 100 and because the uh, app optimization over here has been neatly fixed if you uh, set always optimizing it will be added over here as you can see one app optimizing battery usage device ideal three days and 19 hours almost around four days i have not charged this device to the max 100 and it's still on 55 percent which is very awesome thing because i have not used this as for much as you can see only 40 minutes of screen on time and that was a bit of a heavy usage i was just browsing and surfing doing bunch of stuff and also the ui has been fixed if you go to the camera it's no full screen uh, as you can see the ui is a smaller because of the 480 dpi mod or something like that but the camera has been fixed which is good also it uh, like doesn't crash much often for example if you go to the fast motion and record something as you can see no crashes at all it just does it perfectly which is good as we are getting nearer and nearer to the final belts of or the final days of this galaxy s4 it's a um, almost three year old phone three to four years because the galaxy s7 will be getting replaced in upcoming four to five months which is a sad thing now this is the air command and this also been have been like redesigned let me show you go back once again as you can see the background is uh, like much like a original samsung one because if you know the samsung backgrounds are like only supported on 64 bit processors and they are live like you can just open the camera and the preview will work but if you open it over here it will just freeze because it's a image so it will not do anything but it's very close which is a good thing and also looks very beautiful so here is the uh, screen right works just perfect takes a minute or so to pop up for the first time but it will just work perfect there is the action memo it should appear in a split second i don't know but you can move it around but i don't know how to resize it like just like that because uh, earlier there was an option to, in order to this okay there it is but you can just not like adjust the width of it which is a bad thing older versions would allow you to do that then there are the shortcuts toolbox is also present over here i just almost forgot about this feature from the s5 such a useless feature I never used it on any of the custom ROMs or in my devices 
then there is the side key panel almost forgot all about that 2014 features but they are still uh, available and can be enabled in this 2016 roms because they are still on lollipop i mean you can still do it on marshmallow because the note 4 has a marshmallow update now if you go to the lock screen and security the charging effects have been added back because there were some like hiccups when you enable that you can't just get the lock screen on the first spot as you can see over there the wallpaper took a bit of a second to load up over there which is kind of a still down point but if you use it much oftenly it will catch up and just do it perfectly as you can see i've been using the spring for a long time so it popped it but if you go to the wallpapers i don't know why the samsung has just bunch of things added over here there is the side key panel there is the air command if it was present there will be a toolbox then there is the edge bar there are too much things on the screen i don't know why was the serious need to add air command on the screen they would be just going like a note 4 1 where you can just pop up anywhere on the background this was of no need if you have a s pen you can use it now i have a touch screen that's also a great thing that i can mod and use it but that's not the point what is the wallpapers the ui is still the old but the wallpapers are truly now high definition there is a 2k one cause some of the wallpapers previously got bit of a torn up which was a bad thing let's just enable this one looks pretty good so guys this was my review of first flight v6 on galaxy s4 hope this would be the very last uh, roms for this thing because this thing is like serious aging right now and if you have not seen my this week's vlog please sure to check it out over here and thanks for watching peace